what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here i go by empress gem i drop the jewels this will be the monthly energy read for february 2021 for our wonderful sagittarius's our free spirited ones however it falls in your chart guys general message take what's for you leave the rest behind in any event continue to show your girl that love and support so sag um you guys are really counting on your friends here. Like, you're really leaning on, like, the guidance of others, I feel, this month. Um, I feel that you guys are really starting to detach yourself from, like, certain obsessions or breaking habits. You know, if you have, like, drinking habits, smoking habits. I feel the energy here where you guys are cutting back on um, things that do not serve you or, like, you know, toxic behaviors, habits, things that you have. Um, I feel that some of you guys could be embarking on a spiritual journey or awakening truly once you lay these things to rest. I feel like you're realizing that you have to see more value within yourself on this journey as well. A lot of you guys are doing a lot of introspection here and looking within yourself. Okay, I feel like you're trying to see the light at the tunnel finally, like you're trying to get the bigger picture of things. Okay, still remaining who you are. Okay, wanting your freedom, wanting what it is that you desire in your life, but realizing I'm, I'm getting an energy of where some of you guys may have been in a very stingy state of mind and you're coming out of that. Okay, yep, with that clarity I just seen. So spirit, let's open up here for our Sagittarius. We thank you. One card here for our Sagittarius's because you like to want to give me the deck, which is just like a lot of self-work that you guys are doing, I feel, with because these are self-affirmations. So, yeah, you guys are working on grounding yourself out. So, yeah, and seeing who you are, self-love, really um, doing a lot of that, okay? With that patience there, that's your energy for me. Just really feeling grateful about what it is that you already have in your life and following your heart to truly what inspires you. I feel that you may be asking somebody for their forgiveness because you feel like they have options here. But look, just try to keep the peace here and be who you need to be. Don't over exert yourself or over extend yourself. Um, I feel like some of you guys do have to like um, be your very free spirit itself um, with some spontaneity. Do something new. Um, change your hair, cut your hair, uh, change your clothes, you know, something, it's something about you that you um, need or want to change. Spirit, that is way too many. One card here for our Sagittarius, please. Um, three, three, three. Okay, trying to master something, mastering yourself. Thank you, Spirit. Spontaneity is come back around. Okay, this is taking that leap of faith. I feel a lot of Aries energy here, the full energy. But again, what matters of your heart, really embracing who you are, okay, and following things that fulfill. That has been like the running thing I noticed with everyone. Like, you know, what fulfills you, defining who you are, define me, okay? And I feel like this is a heavy message for you, defining who you are here at Sagittarius with this spontaneity. We expect this out of you, my unicorn. Okay, but do you like spontaneous adventures of the highest caliber? The only acceptable answer to this question is yes. So buckle up, Charlie. Um, pretty good chance that your name is not Charlie, but if it is, hey, okay. Um, you're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored, unconventional, and underrated. You're about to learn that yes is a magic word for the power to unlock new dimensions in space, time, and after hours hangouts. Yes will lead you to experiences you didn't think possible and teach you that lifelong friendships are sometimes lurking just behind a karaoke singer's mullet. I feel like you're going to get clarity here. The more that you open up and you brace exactly what it is that you want and desire in your life, the more you come out of your shell. I feel like a lot of you guys could be hiding yourself, okay, who you truly are, um, being stingy with your energy here, okay? Again, a lot of you guys could have fell into like some low patterns, you know, really, um, just close yourself out from the world. And I feel like now it's time for you to really shine and start giving back, you know, showing people that you care, that you want to be around. You know, don't be so tempted to um, want to lay things to rest so quickly or to like push people aside or to detach. I'm feeling even. OK, so let's get your crystal for the month. Yeah, it's time for you to be spontaneous. Unlock your creativity is what I saw. But definitely, again, with that spontane spontaneity, yeah, breaking through your big blocks. A lot of you guys are being blocked as far as your imagination and your um, creative side here. Okay, your ability to manifest is like you're not seeing things as clear as you need to. Spirit one, please. Because <laughs> trust me, you guys have been, yeah, you've been trying to think. I'll take that. We'll take it. What is this here? Because it looks like a put Yet yeah, jet. Claim your space. This is um for like impasse. But I felt like the sense of needing to protect yourself, grounding yourself. Jet is the dark stone. But underneath the deck, you have Bayright. 
get answers to your biggest questions here. So I feel like, you know, um, like I said, sitting in a very low energy, closing yourself off like in a real mental space here some of you guys could be in like a slight depressive energy here but it's time for you to get back out and start embracing what it is that you truly want going after what it is that you want i feel um with the energy here that you only miss the shots that you don't take don't take so you'll never know if you're going to get that yes if you if you never ask like you're already telling yourself no before you go out and you try to like really put in the work and get things done so with this epidite here is you need to upgrade your version of you and i feel like that is really upgrading who it is like how you see yourself okay feeling that you are good enough that you are worthy that you are capable that you are deserving okay that you can get yourself out of this rut okay that sh this too will pass okay but who needs this anyone putting in the work on their self okay when to use it when you're looking to kick a bad habit a bad friend or a bad mood when you want to cast a spotlight on your weakness so you can work on them okay so exactly repeating myself but I, we channeled that we said that and you need to expand your consciousness with this cavana site okay or ca cabin site cabin site okay but um it's for storytellers soothsayers healers therapists and psychics when i seen the storytellers i feel like some of you guys have been lying or lying to yourself it's time for you to be more honest okay and honest with yourself and honest with others but when do you use it when it's time to speak clearly and straight from the heart which I felt like matters of the heart with that spontaneity. And when you want to get weird, ask, <laughs> ask Cabin Sight to make you a conduit for messages, mysterious and eternal. So like I said, some of you are definitely starting to embark on a spiritual path here. You're starting to become more spiritually aligned. You're starting to take note and take heed of what is going around you and what the universe is trying to offer you. You're starting to gain clarity by paying attention, honestly. While you're in this hermit mode, like the thoughts, you're really starting to pay attention to your inner self. Okay, yeah, a lot of you guys could be dealing with a lot of obstacles and issues. We're trying to get past any tempting offers or temptations that you have in your life. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But at it, really? What we got? Yeah, see, I feel like you guys have tried to plant some seeds or you want to plant some seeds. And you want to move towards something new. You want something abundant here. But again, you could just be keeping yourself in a challenging mind space, trying to get towards what it is that you are desiring. Okay? Truth that I just spoke to you. It's time for you to see the truth and the obstacles and challenges that you are facing and realizing that you have more than enough to get through them. Okay? <laughs> again, take the shot. Okay? <laughs> just do it okay that's like my nike just do it which are solar plexus chakra like you you need to just do it follow your gut okay so spirit what's the main energy you guys got to and it's all mental shit i'm telling you and i feel like this is self-doubt deceiving yourself so much that you're causing your own heart aching your home your own heartbreak but I also feel like some of you guys could have also been in some sort of deceptive third party type of energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but something that played mentally on you. Somebody could have been investing in something else heavily other than a connection with you or paying you attention. This could have been in your job. You could have been overlooked. This could have been in your relationship. Okay, what is that? Sorry, looking out the window. I think it's a carnal. Um, no, okay, yeah. Know that you are... <laughs> okay, yeah. Know that you are protected and you're guided. Your ancestors are with you, okay? Um, you will get through this time, okay? Do not deceive yourself out of anything that you feel you need. I feel that um, some of you guys honestly could have been being a little deceptive and caused a heartache and a heartbreak over some with someone where somebody had to clear the air and make a decision to let this go because they realized that they couldn't deal with the lies. Making this ten swords all together here, something is told, like completely coming to a close in the month of February, okay? No more lies, no more deceit, no more games, no more heartache. Like, it's just no more third parties. It's just letting it all go, yeah, ooh, yes, and a spiritual union. Could have been a karmic situation, especially when we know that we started off with the temptation, okay? You could have been dealing with something that is karmic, and it doesn't necessarily have to be love, okay? It could have been a job. It could have been a friendship. It could have been a family member. It could be your own child. Hell, it could be your own parent. But you're realizing that a connection that you had was is not good for you. Like, it's, help, it's making you feel deceived or like you're, because it's all sorts. Like, it, it's, it's like a mind game. There's too many lies. There's no trust. 
You don't trust the situation. There's no trust. Um, you don't feel worthy. You don't feel like, so yeah, definitely like not feeling worthy. Some of you guys could like be cheating yourself out of the situation because again, storytelling, lying, you're lying to yourself. You're not seeing your true self. You're not doing what it is. You're not feeling that you're deserving of the spiritual union that is possibly being placed in your face. And you need to have that that drive, that um, to just go ahead and go for it. That spontaneity needs to kick in for you guys. Because I feel like you guys are just sitting in a very um depressive state and waiting for something to change. Or um, sitting in the same mindset or whatever. But you need to have some clarity and understand that it's time to take action here. You can't just sit around and wait. You got to get moving with that triumph, with that chariot energy. Could be dealing with a cancer or an air sign because you have lots of it. We got cancer again twice. So definitely um, cancer energy, but with all that air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. But um, really needing to have the strength to just find that drive within you to move forward towards this person. You might need to travel to this person. They might be at a distance from you. Okay, and you just feel like, you know, you're sitting back and you're watching and waiting for things to come in with this person. And you're just breaking your heart, watching it and waiting. I'm getting the energy also of just like spying. You could be spying or somebody could be spying on you. But that's just like, that's what I feel. So Sag, yeah, like I said, Leo energy here. You need to have the strength. You really need to just grab life by the balls and just do it like get on that mother and ride it. Ride, Sally, ride. Like, that's what you got to do. I feel like you really need to depend on your allies right now, your friends, your family. Those are that you can depend on, you can count on. Because I feel like they can help you get out of this situation. It could be a Leo in your life who can help you. I'm also getting a Libra who can help you in your life get through this. Yeah, because in the past, it could have been some secrets. There's some fears. There's some illusions, Okay. And I feel like this is definitely like with it, like a lot of mental work. You could have been doing shadow work, like I said, going within yourself, that hermit energy I was feeling, you know, and doing the shadow work and feeling like you weren't good enough. But it's like you need to come to terms to understand that you are good enough. And that situation may not be good for you anymore. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, it's time to just let it go. And it's time for you to invest in yourself and like cut the ship. And for some of you guys, I feel like you could have been just hiding your emotions. And it's time for you to have that strength to come forward now and feel that you are good enough to express and have what it is that the universe keeps presenting to you. Because again, like with all the other readings I've done, this is all about the things that we've manifested and them coming into fruition here. And it's a matter of if you're willing to let go what you need to let go in order to have this newness come in. And I see here that there are some things that you are still holding on that it's causing a lot of deception around you that is making you i feel like essentially breaking your own heart but you need to cut all that shit out like you need to have the strength to cut that shit out and this month is about you finding that strength to tame that lust and desire that deception that may be going on with a possible third party and to just move forward and act on those hidden emotions those hidden feelings or even just admit the secrets or whatever that has been going on cancer energy here as well as pisces all right the energy coming in like i said needing to make this decision and i mean you're going to have to put your foot down and come up with one, okay? Could be dealing with an Aries, but you're going to have to, like, boss up and make a decision, okay? Your advice is to understand, like I said, you are protected. Your ancestors are with you. You have the spiritual guidance and the knowledge and the protection needed to get through this. You just have to have that faith and that courage within you to do so, okay? Find it within you to come out of this dark place, okay? Sag your energy and be that shining light okay be the sun go towards your happiness what will fulfill you mm -hmm. what's blocking you is what third party see you could have had a friends with benefits because there's not really much emotion it's just i feel like there could have been hidden emotions but you're you weren't trying to be too caught up in your emotions and it's like i feel like you could have like detached like i said ended something with a job or a person, whatever, it doesn't matter, right? Something you ended that like really is playing on you mentally. It was a third party energy, like you was juggling or dealing with two of something in a similar category, like two jobs or two people or friends, or whatever. 
but you had to let something go, okay? You were working with this, but it's like the blockages is trying not to work with it or going back around and working with it because I feel like, you know, there could have been some hidden emotions or some hidden secrets or something that could have came up that just made you like really question or made something or someone question you. But I feel like you need to have this, a need to end all of the bullshit, the hidden shit. There's a need to hide that, to come out and voice and say what it is that is truth, you know, to stick up for yourself. And, you know, if if you don't like fucking mayonnaise on your sandwich, then say it. Like, I don't like mayonnaise on my sandwich. I want mustard, you know, like, a, or I will Chris Rock, Chris, Chris Rock, and I think I love my wife. And he was like, well, why are you going out? You know, I'm, I'm tired of chicken. I want duck, you know, like it is that type of thing. You know, um, but it's like it's a challenge. It's a challenge here of whether or not you want to keep working with this energy. You need to make a decision because I feel like in the end of the day, you know, like you you can find it. You can do you can put it to work and do what it is that you need to do naturally on your own. I feel like you are more so being a helping hand to whatever. Like third party that you're cutting out. Like, you don't need to deal with it. Friends will benefits thing. It could have been or whatever, but it was just lustful. Like, you don't you don't need to deal with it because it's not like it's eight of pentacles. It's not something that you're trying to master. Like, you just started working on it. Like, it's in the, it was in the works. It was what it was, you know, whatever. But, okay, you get what I'm saying? Like, you don't need it. And I feel like you're deceiving yourself out of something that is truly for you. And you probably could be deceiving yourself. And Okay, so what I'm getting here, so say... You got a bad one, okay? You got somebody who got everything together, but then you got all this. You got somebody who will easily come along and allow, allow you to do whatever and be however the hell you want to be. So you got something. So say it's something that's motivating you, and you got something that doesn't really motivate you as much, and you like having it around. You rather have the thing around and the thing that's going to motivate you and make you better because you don't feel like you deserve the thing that's going to motivate and make you better. You get what I'm saying? So you keep you cutting that out and you pushing out, but it's breaking your heart because you're deceiving yourself out of this. You need to have the strength to cut out that little three of pentacles because I feel like you have that eight of pentacles that's trying to work with you, but you're pushing that aside. I feel like you're going through shadow work. You've went through the work and you've seen that you've been working with lower vibrational energies and you had something that was trying to come in and like be better for you, but you needed to go within and see that you were worth it and make the change here. Therefore, Spirit telling you to have the strength to tame your desires when it comes to dealing with low vibra low vibrational things that aren't really helping you grow and become the person that you need to be. You get what I'm saying? I feel like you've been pushing off to the side what it is that is meant for you, deceiving yourself. Some of you also could have felt a little jealous or intimidated by what has been presented or what is around you. Or you have this energy around you of people feeling intimidated and envious of what you have and trying to deceive you out of something that you're worth having, okay? Because they don't want to see you have it, okay? Your outcome here is stay on your solid ground and go towards stability. This is a husband. This is also a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And this is also a new job. This is also being stable financially and being secure in who you are. And um, ideally, I want to feel like standing your ground, okay? And knowing that you got it. Okay, knowing that what you have is stable. I do see you moving towards something that is worth committing. It has taken you some time, but you know that this is worth longevity. Okay, this is long standing. Okay. And yeah, because you've been feeling at a loss. This is all about feeling at a loss. Somebody wanting to see you lose. And you've been feeling at a lack because of the situations and the people that you've been dealing with. But I feel like things have been revealed to you in regards to the energies that you need to let go. And you're no longer going to like try to, well, the advice is to stand up for yourself and make a decision to no longer work with these low vibe type of energies because they're going to keep you at a light and keep you juggling, okay? It is time to heal, especially in this Aquarius season. So I definitely feel like it will wrap up by the end of Aquarius season, if not by the end of February, okay? But like I said, right now, it's a time to give rather than take. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So, Spirit, what do we have as we close out for our Sagittarius? Yes, do expect a powerful change, and I feel like it is one that will come from within yourself. Understand, Sag, luck is on your side, my lucky ones. Okay? 
your message. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Just like clear out and let things fall how they need to. Don't try to control a situation. Okay. Just control what it is that you can. Making a decision to do what is best for you, Sag. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you are very close to achieving your goal with that Gibson moon. So yes, Sagis, that has been your message. I know y'all know what to do with this. If you need to book a personal, get some more insight, I'm here for it. All that information is listed below. Until the next time we speak, peace out.